Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is May 21st, 2019, and this is our episode number 456. Today's company uh, is Grandani, and this is our belated uh, one-year review of Grandani. Uh, let me show you my notes. So on April 13th, 2018, we looked at this company, and my conclusion was that in a portfolio of 20 companies, I would have Green Danny for the long term. I have to say a few things about this. Number one, I'm not thinking anymore in, in terms of even imaginary portfolios like this. Okay, so I do the exercise as if it were for myself, and I try to have a more concentrated portfolio, so maybe three companies, maybe eight, uh, because that's the amount of money that I have to invest, and that makes sense. Um, so, Grandani, we look at it today, I'll talk about it, and we will phase out this 20-company uh, idea here. In fact, I think that's the last one. So, let me uh, tell you a, a few things here. Uh, I actually already got the numbers. I had to re-record this video. So the numbers are basically here. So we have the numbers for 2018. And what we can see here is a company that carries basically no debt whatsoever, carries an extremely comfortable relationship between liabilities and equity, and it's almost like eerily so, you know, so... Uh, it's hard to, to understand a little bit how low this actually is. Meaning like, what are the assets? What's holding this equity so high? That's a question that maybe we can uh, dive deeper. Current ratio has been historically extremely high here. So end of the year at basically eight times. So they're holding eight times as much cash for the short term as they estimate they will need. Revenue uh, ended at uh, two, almost three billion, and profit was not a record breaker here. Uh, was average, and uh, free cash flow was kind of average. And I mean, they post solid results, solid earnings year in and year out. As for 2019, I did take the numbers, the basic number here, numbers here, and they had a, a worse, a far worse. Uh, quarter than is typical and this even made news it was commented about in financing uh, circles it's just one quarter so I mean it remains to be seen if this is any kind of trend but uh, if you see here like earnings were and this is projected earnings from just this quarter okay so this would be like 77 million for the quarter and they posted a negative free cash flow here also for the quarter. To be honest, I'm not paying any attention to this as this is very short term and uh, I'm, I don't care really, you know, like if, uh, if, if you understand like the product, you know, you, you should understand getting then it's pros and cons and not really care about one quarter at all pretty much. Alrighty, so the averages reflect uh, the year 2018 to 2009. Um, and the price dropped uh, to $6.4 here. So it's lower than it was uh, early in 2018, and it's earlier, it's, uh, it's lower than it was just like a month or so ago. Uh, so much so that the multiples here are, are like this. So a 10.91 and um, a price to free cash flow of 16.95. And let me tell you, I bought Grandin. So Grandin is now in my portfolio. I did not quite buy it uh, at this, this lowest price of the last few days. I, I did buy some just almost like three or four days ago and I had bought some at a higher price not much higher so now it remains to be seen where the price will go but I did I did purchase Grandin so it's a company that's the largest sandal maker on planet earth 
uh, it's a high quality company and I said uh, like if the price drops I will buy it and it did drop so if you consider like so 6380 divided by C, let's say even this number here even though yeah I was mostly looking at 8180 so we had a, a drop here of 20 two percent so to me uh, Grindini became an interesting company um, yeah I'm thinking here uh, you know mm, yeah it's always possible that some other company drops to uh, you know extremely low valuations and I might you know uh, leave Grindini but typically like I said I, I buy companies for five to ten years so that's the plan for for green Dame. so with that said what we can do here is uh i will move this to reviewed uh so today uh market cap six three eight zero i could ask look at green Dame's. Leave it here. 7.07. Hey, I just wanted to look at the stock price. It, this got split. First year 2017-2018 would have import in a portfolio of 20 companies. Second year had purchased stock. All right. So basically, this is kind of the portfolio here. Uh, this one I don't own really. Uh, and CLO I now own and also adding. So this is basically it. And for the next uh, episode, we will look at a different company. So, of course, I encourage you to study Grand Danny deeply. Uh, but we will just continue our search here. Now I have about eight companies in the portfolio. It's my the largest number I've ever had, and from now on I, I don't I don't really see any reason to have more companies than that uh, this year. Perhaps we'll see. Thank you very much. If you've gotten this far and you're not a subscriber yet, please consider becoming one by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button. If you have any questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a comment in the video and I'll be delighted to write you back as soon as I'm able to. Meanwhile, I wish you a beautiful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.